problems. You have put with precision details into your vibrational reality that you cannot constantly focus upon and comprehend but your inner being can and does so everything that matters to you is always understood and held in a vibrational place waiting for your readiness you never give up a dream but sometimes you give up resistance and then the dream happens once life has caused you to want it it's in there mm -hmm. the question is how much of what you have asked for are you allowing to be shown to you and oh when you get into that place where a whole bunch of things can be shown to you all at once when you accept that it's all out there how do you because it is you doing it it is not anybody else doing it how do you turn the vibration that you have launched what makes it real the spinning vortex is calling to its center all things that you've asked for we see the fulfillment of what you've been asking for we know who you are we know what you're asking for we know it we see it we see where it is we see where you are in relationship to it and once that thought from a vibration to a thought from a thought to an emotion there it is it's alive and it's real and if you can be happy this is the key if you can make yourself happy for a little while with the uncondition of the thought and the emotion if you can say ah oh, I got the best idea and it felt so good to me it feels so good to me and I'm so happy with this idea right now you're just feeling it and knowing it and expecting it and glad for it if you can hold yourself there just for a little while it is our promise to you that that vibration will gain momentum and your ability to perceive it will grow and grow and grow until you'll be rendezvousing you'll find yourself talking to people that know recognizing it and you will find yourself this compliant cooperative joyful component of your own creation being guided to the culmination do you know how many clues are there for you in every moment of every day because the source within you does know where you stand in relationship to everything you want and is offering steady guidance about that steady guidance to assist you to navigate hear these words your path of least resistance those words really matter your path of least resistance Esther's laughing really she's climbing over things she said this is not the path of least resistance that I had envisioned but what we want you to understand the obstacles in your path are all on wheels they will move easily out of your way but you sometimes make them so much more than they need to be so the path of least resistance we want to stay here just for a moment the path of least resistance and path of most allowance are the same path aren't they we want you to understand though that since your source knows where you want to be how you want to feel what you want to have with you who you want to have with you every desire is understood completely by your inner being by your Abraham by your source so that means that your source is calling you toward what you are asking for calling you around and over and under and through that path of least resistance you are the creator of your own reality but you are not in it alone because all that is is aware of you and focused upon you and flowing to you through the path of least resistance sometimes you're not ready for the solution you're not in the vibrational vicinity for the solution but you are in the vibrational vicinity for a clarifying problem and that's on the path that's not wrong-headed that's not something gone wrong so what we're saying to you is we all know and we're trying to tell you and when you think it's missing it can't show up and when you think there's not enough the universe can't yield to you more abundance you see because your thoughts matter a lot The nugget today is that in the releasing of resistance you're in the receptive mode and in the receptive mode you'll be inspired to the next and the next and the next and the next and the next the most powerful thing that we want you to realize is that your journey is well underway even before you begin to see the action evidence that leads to the manifestation of it the most important thing that we want you to feel from us is that so often you're thinking that you want to have a goal or a desire 
and that you want to then somehow line up so that you can make your way to the manifestation of whatever it is and we want you to realize that the manifestations and the goals and the nuggets that you're looking for is that feeling of alignment that keeps you in that steady state of unfolding you are not ever going to get it done it's not ever going to be done but to be in a continual state of ooh, new idea ooh, new inspiration and then watching the others come together in cooperation with you along this never-ending trail sometimes you come and you think well I would like to hear Abraham talk about more money or how can I get a boyfriend or how can I live in a nicer neighborhood or how can I improve this relationship or this relationship and we hear your requests we know that when something is less than what you want it's caused you to put what you think you want in the vortex you want the boyfriend you want the better paying job you want the better place to live or the improved relationship and you think that that is what the goal is what we want you to understand is that those are the pieces of the goal that lead to the inspiration that lead you to the more experience but it's the more experience that it is really all about what your goal is is joy that's what your desire is your desire is clarity it doesn't matter what you're clear about your desire is clarity it doesn't matter what you're excited about your goal is to be excited it doesn't matter who you love your goal is to be in love you see what we're getting at it's the being in tune well once you understand that then every particle of everything that you've ever even thought just a little bit that you would like to experience has to be shown to you even if you have to be hauled out on a helicopter in order to see the waterfall that you wanted to see everything that you want is always being factored into everything that's why we would like you all to relax just a little bit and not try so hard and accept your goodness and most of all accept your place of being understood and your place of being known and your place of being seen and your place of being helped isn't the right word supported isn't the right word engulfed in knowledge of whatever piece of success you're looking for right here in this moment so often people say well when I get over there then I'll be happy and then they long to get over there and we say get happy and then you'll get over there that's what we wish for all of you that's the nugget that we would like you to take away from this if you will let happiness be your intention and understand that it will then lead to all of the other examples of what you think happiness is it's the understanding of getting out ahead of it vibrationally we're going to give you a lot of nuggets here no longer being a reactor to conditions but instead being the basis for the conditions that are coming because when you are reacting to a condition you're spinning out of control for a little while but when you've set the conditions aside and you want to be happy just because you want to be happy how that plays out how you make that work is when you first wake up you say to yourself it's new I'm new now what now what now what Esther wrote a note to herself she drew a diagram during the segment of refreshment that sort of came out of what we were talking about and she drew the hand up here like this the claw <laughs> the receptive mode leading to all those things and then on the other end of it she drew the receptive mode leading to all of those things and then she just drew arrows every subject up there is where I want to be no more facing reality no more telling it like it is no more describing unwanted things to other people no more talking myself down there and then trying to work myself out of it here look upward look for good feeling things you have the potential to do that you describe that when you're out in nature it's easy for you to find those good feeling thoughts so that is not just the nugget that's the whole ball of everything that's what it's all about care about how you feel and figure out how to feel good and then watch what happens until you've taught yourself your day-to-day -day program for life and then when you're there somebody comes up to you and presents you with something that is unpleasant you just look away or you make light of it you don't ingest it you don't make it your afternoon meal you don't discuss it with somebody else and somebody else and somebody else and somebody else and then try to dig yourself out of the hole so the nugget is don't get in the hole to begin with 
Don't get in the hole to begin with. And many of you want to say, oh, here's another nugget. Many of you want to say, but Abraham, I'm already in the hole. How do I get out? And we say, when you woke up this morning, you weren't. You went in the hole after you woke up. So tomorrow when you wake up, don't go in the hole. You hear that? You don't have to dig yourself out of a hole if you don't put yourself in the hole. And when you woke up, you weren't in the hole. You think you were because you thought about yesterday's hole. But you weren't in the hole until you thought about yesterday's hole. So when you get up, don't go to the hole. Don't think about the hole. Don't be in the hole. Don't try to dig yourself out of a hole. You don't have to be in the hole. You don't have to be in the hole. And now when you're aware that when you're in the hole and you want to get out of the hole, don't try to get out of the hole when you're in the hole. You can't get out of the hole when you're in the hole. Your awareness that you're in the hole, you can't get out of the hole. You just can't get out of the hole. The hole just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. It's a bottomless pit. There's no end to the hole. You cannot get out of the hole. You can't get out of the hole. But when you wake up, you're not in the hole. So don't go to the hole. Oh, 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 I'm in the hole. Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Wait till tomorrow. If you mean it, if you really mean it, pretty soon you're going to wake up and you're not going to be in the hole and you're not going to go into the hole for 10 minutes. And then the next day for 15 minutes. The next day it'll be noon before you go in the hole.